screen from high school. I'm sorry, I, I don't, I don't remember. Remember, you got stuck in my locker trying to steal my bra. <gasps> Susan, sexy green, the cheerleader, yeah, from good old Titus High. Remember, give me a T, give me an I, give me a T, give, give me, me a U, give me an S, as in us. Excuse me. Hi, Susan, Janet Thomas, remember me? No, not really. I, I sat right next to you in homework for four years. Remember? No. Um, I was the water girl for the cheerleaders. Gave you a little sip. You. <laughs> All right. <laughs> little moon face Jay. Yeah, she, she grew into the face. You haven't changed a bit. And you have this whole Michael Jordan thing happening. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Is this the girl you knocked up and had to marry? Yes, it is. We've had 17 of the most incredible years of our lives. Mm -hmm. We have three children, too. Oh, and I see another one on the way. No, no. No, no, no. See, it's very difficult keeping weight off when you have children and your mother, you know? Tell me about it. I have seven. Wow. You live in the gym? No, I don't have time. What, with the kids, running the magazine, the presidential campaign? I can hardly find time for my missionary work. Well, seven kids, you seem to be in the missionary a lot. <laughs> I run a small magazine. It's called New Age Woman. New Age Woman? What? That's her favorite magazine. <laughs> Jay can't get enough of that New Age magazine. Every time I go out, she says, hey, Michael, bring me back my New Age. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. Where's the New Age? Where's the New Age? The, the New Age. Look, we got a copy right here. This is one issue. Could you sign it for us? Okay. You know what, Susan, girl? We don't want to hold you up. Michael, let's go to the 10 items or less. But we, we got more than 10 items. <laughs> Susan? She was skinny and smart and beautiful and everyone liked her. God, I hated her. It's miserable, too. I mean, being around her made me feel 16 and awkward and ugly again. You were never awkward. Thank you. She should have seen Michael. I mean, he was ridiculous. He was acting like a little teenager drooling all over himself. She called him Michael Jordan. He about forgot I was even standing there. Michael Jordan? Yes. I don't think so. Not even Lou Gossett on a good day. <laughs> Maybe Scatman Crothers. <laughs> you know we don't get along. If it wasn't for your husband meddling in my business, I would be married to Ricky Baker. Michael told Ricky I slept with the whole football team. Wanda, I did. <laughs> no, I didn't. I never slept with the kicker. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> Do you think that I'm overreacting? Oh, no. Nope. Men get very insecure at his age. Mm. With his hair gone, his spine curving, and his gonads drooping. <laughs> All it takes is a little compliment from some little heifer to turn his head. That's exactly what I was afraid of. And you better be. I've seen it happen to the least suspecting. What about that married man I was dating? You would think my sister would have seen it coming. <laughs> and it took you to show her the light, huh? <laughs> That's what big sisters are for. <laughs> What do you think I should do? You're gonna have to do something to snap that little peanut head around. Peanut head? I always thought it looked like a milk duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Girl, I gotta go. Your husband is home. Hey, I thought we said no pets in the house. He didn't mean that, Wanda. He did not mean that. I know. He just says the first thing that pops in his scalp. Hey, you got something on your chin. No, low, the other chin. Right down, this one. <laughs> Go. Don't let him scare you off, Wanda. Oh, I'm not leaving because of him, girl. I gotta run. Yeah, you gotta run. You gotta do some sit-ups and tie by <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Rogaine. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna dedicate my life to making yours miserable, even if I have to live to 150. Yeah, you got about four more years left. <laughs> gotcha. Bye, Wanda. Why are you so mean to her? Because every time she come over here, she started some trouble. That is not... True. Do you think I'm ugly? Compared to one? No, compared to Susan Green. Oh, come on, Jay. I'm not even thinking about Susan Green. I married you. You're my wife and my queen. I only have eyes for you. Well, do you think I've changed much since high school? No. 
You're exactly the same. You got the same hairdo. You got the same blood type, same DNA, same shoe size, same social security number. You're just the same Jane. <laughs> so much more going on in that woman. You're smart. You're fun. You're funny. It's like hanging out with the fellas with you sometimes. You know, and what does she got? Beauty. <laughs> She's a pretty girl, and that's it. In another 20, 30 years, that'll all fade away. But you know what? My sturdy Jay will keep chugging along. <laughs> No, I'm not going to do it. Man, it's a tradition. Everybody who makes a team has to do one. Yep, I'd run across four lines of traffic. Buck naked. Yep, and I had to drink the whole bottle of hot sauce. Naked. That's fine, but I can't sneak into the girls' locker room and take Denise Adams' bra. If I get caught, I'll get expelled. Yeah, well, see, that'll be watching team jock straps. And team balls. Naked. I'll get the bra. What bra? It's none of your business. Just shut up. Make me shut up. I don't make trash. I bake it. Bye! <laughs> Ooh, look, licorice. What did you call it? Licorice. Yeah, licorice. Why? What do you call it? Licorice. <laughs> Say it again. Licorice. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What's so funny about licorice? Everyone else on the planet pronounces it licorice. Hey, girls. Hi. Whoa, hand me some of that licorice. <laughs> that is so weird. Claire, where's your mother? Oh, she's upstairs. She's been in bed all day. Come here, I want to talk to you. Can you please go upstairs and try to talk to your mother? Why, what's wrong? I don't know. It's some sort of uh, emotional woman thing that I don't understand. Could you just go up there and exhale with her or something? Okay, I know just the thing that'll cheer up. Great. Hey, Mom, I bought you some goodies. I got some ice cream, cookies, some magazines. Oh, and my favorite, make a wish. Let me get a look. Oh, so, what's going on, Mom? I don't know, Claire. You ever have one of those days where you just feel blah? No. I mean, when you are looking in the mirror and you don't like what you see looking back at you. Yeah, but you, you know that feeling? No. Okay, I, I'm talking about, Claire, when you hate your clothes, you, you, your hair's not working anymore. You know that feeling, right? No. You know what, Claire? Come on, get out. Come on, Claire, come on, please. Just because I'm young and beautiful doesn't mean I can't empathize. Oh, okay. Well, lately, I've been feeling like I've been in a rut, like I hit a wall. I just feel frumpy. Why? I ran into this girl from my old high school. Oh, say no more. I run into people from high school every day. <laughs> um, Claire, listen to me. This girl looked 15 years younger than me. She was doing all these wonderful things with her life. She had seven kids, and her body looked fantastic. Mm, that sounds awful. <laughs> Your self-worth must be diminished, which causes you to feel bad on the inside. Yeah. And that, in turn, is reflected on the way you look on the outside. Claire, that's really rude and insightful. I know. Let me finish. Okay. <laughs> now, you'd have to work out the internal issues in therapy, uh -huh. but the external issues are something we can fix right away. How? A makeover. Because when a woman looks good, she feels good. You are absolutely right. How did you come across this info? I read it in this incredible magazine called New Age Woman. <laughs> oh, great. Here, I'll leave this article with you by a woman named Susan Gray. Mm. <laughs> She's my hero. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't thank me. Thank Susan Green. <laughs> Ow! What are you cooking? Some of my famous fried chicken. Ow! Yeah. What are you talking about? Uh, you love my fried chicken. Ow! Yeah, but mom cooks it. She said, where is she? Ow! I don't know. Ow! She was very secretive when she left the house. Ow! Better than all the girls I've ever dated. 
You mean all both of them? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to think. My head is a balloon of confusion. You got the balloon part right. I may need therapy. You need a brain transplant. <laughs> and you need a brain transmission. Bye! <laughs> Mom, I never thought I would say this, but you look hot. Doesn't she, Dad? Come over here and take a look. I think I better stand back here. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I gotta wait for my blood to return to the proper places. You look fantastic, Mom. My work here is done. Okay, it's a little bit too much, isn't it? Oh, no, baby, baby. It's, it's, it's perfect. I mean, you look fantastic. Yeah, yeah, the hair and everything. You know, it's a little... I love the hair. And the clothes. No, the... You're too youthful. The clothes. Oh, baby. So sexy. But your butt. I, I just want to take a picture with it. I did. <laughs> you think so? I mean, you really, really think so, Mom? Let me tell you something. I'm gonna show you how beautiful I think you look. Hey, Junior, come in here. <laughs> Listen, I, I need you to take your sisters to a movie and to dinner, a long one. Are y'all gonna do it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Gone. Let me prepare the operating table. I'm aboard, my dear. inspiration. I mean, I'm almost ready for round three. Ooh. I said almost. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you like it. Um, like it? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Jay, this has always been a secret fantasy of mine, for you to change your hair and you put on a slutty little outfit, you know, <laughs> and wax your legs. I mean, not that I don't like that earthy, all-natural, indie thing you do. I mean, sometimes I shave my legs, sometimes I don't. Yeah. <laughs> That's still beautiful. But this is what we need to be doing for our marriage, to spice it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, fantasies. I mean, what, what could I do for you? Um, you could uh, lotion up your elbows. That would be real nice. That little punch. <laughs> 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 nice, nice. That's for making all those used turns under <laughs> 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 that sheet. What else can I do? What else? Uh, nothing, Michael. Come I, I don't have any fantasies. You're yes, my fantasy. Yes, you stop. No, Please. you're going to... If I promise, arm. Jay, please, I promise, I won't lie. Okay, I do this, my friends. Okay. okay, so I'm in this Dunkin' Donuts, right? And I'm eating all these chocolate-covered donuts. You know the ones with the multicolored sprinkles on them? You know, the candy donuts. Uh, right? Oh, yeah, that's it, that's it. So then, the whole place just catches on fire. And I'm about to be burned alive. And then suddenly, what? Fire Chief is at the window. I'm the fire chief. You're the fire chief. <laughs> <laughs> and your chest is all glistening because the, the, the shirt's been singed off by the fire. That look like Wesley Snipes. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> What's the mom with the one nipple out? <laughs> so then, so then I say, save me, fire chief. Save me, save me. And you pick me up in your big, strong arms and you said, there's no fire in here. There's only you, hot stuff. Hey! Oh! I feel it, I feel it. That's the fence. That's it, baby, that's it. Right, I would like it. You know what? That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to know. Don't know that sounds like Rosie O'Donnell's fantasy. <laughs> it's the texture, it's the texture. I know, but listen, this new look of yours is just amazing. Yeah, Susan Green ain't got nothing on you. Hold the phone. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Repeat that? I said Susan Green looks like the sturdy one. Oh, really? So when did Susan Green become the barometer by which all women are measured? That's what I would like to know, Michael. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Uh-oh, you damn right. <laughs> You're being silly. I am it's... not being silly, Michael. You just made it very clear to me that you don't want to be with me. You want to be with her. How would how'd you get that? How did I get that? Because, Michael, in your mind, mm -hmm. and your little twisty, twisty, twisted mind, <laughs> you are cheating on me. I'm cheating on you with you. Thank you. Thank you for finally admitting it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's no round three. Hell no! <laughs> 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 Michael, 
Michael, I am feeling so vulnerable. I, I feel unattractive. I'm insecure. You know, it's so hard for women to grow old because we're always comparing ourselves to what we used to be or what our friends look like. But men, when they get old, they just get more distinguished. And you, fawning over Susan Green and then comparing me to her does not help. First of all, I wasn't fawning over anyone. And secondly, baby, I never asked you to change who you are. You did this makeover on your own. So you were perfectly happy with... Sturdy, rugged, Ford, tough, Jay? Yes. Yes, I was. Listen, baby, you are the most beautiful thing in the world to me, both inside and out. You're every woman I, I want you to be. You're strong when you need to be strong. You're sexy when you want to be sexy. You're loving, you're kind, you're sweet and sensitive. You're, you're caring and nurturing. Keep going. <laughs> You're everything. And I could go all night, just like I did earlier. <laughs> Baby, I, I wish that you could you could see you through my eyes. I can't, Michael. I just feel stagnant. I feel like I'm stuck in the mud. I'm drowning. Well, just tell me. Whatever I can do, I'll do it. I don't know. I just, I need you to rescue me. Someone report a fire, ma'am. <laughs> no, no, I did not. Right, there's no fire around here. It must be you. Hot stuff. Okay. <laughs> Mike, you look ridiculous. Won't judge till you see this. <laughs> Contraire, I was sent here to rescue a damsel in distress, and I'm not leaving until my job is done. <laughs> what are you doing? All those used turns under that sheet. And I did the commando call. 